For today's Canvas Studio Tips and Tricks video, we're going to talk about taking videos that you already have in YouTube and moving them into Canvas Studio. We're also going to address one of the biggest pitfalls you can run into when moving your YouTube content into Studio, which is that captions don't follow the video. So that means we do have to do a manual process of downloading the captions file from YouTube Studio and adding them to Canvas Studio, but it shouldn't take more than two minutes. So let's talk about why we might do this. Canvas Studio is a wonderful feature that allows you to have insights and quizzes and build in all these great comments and features into your videos. So when you take a video that you already have uploaded into YouTube and bring it into Canvas Studio, you get access to those great features. Um, another big reason that you might want to have um, a video, leave a video in YouTube and bring it into Studio instead of uploading it directly into Studio is because we have more storage space with YouTube than we do with Canvas Studio. We have a shared storage space with Canvas Studio. It's 10 terabytes. Um, and that's for the entire campus. So, um, so that sounds like a lot, but it's not necessarily that much. Um, and we are going to eventually run into storage space issues. So you can put those issues off by putting your videos into YouTube and bringing them into Canvas Studio. Uh, the other reason you might want to take a YouTube video and bring it into Studio um, is because you've already spent a tremendous amount of time perfecting those captions that you have on YouTube. So once you have those captions done and your video is ready, um, you want to bring in captions also to Studio and you don't want to lose those. So what you'll want to do is follow these steps. First, we're going to access Canvas Studio. Then we're going to add a YouTube video link. Then we're going to go into YouTube Studio and that's where we can download the caption file. And then we'll return to Canvas Studio and upload our caption file to our YouTube video. So let's jump in by going to Canvas Studio. So here we are in Canvas Studio. I've clicked Studio in the left navigation menu and that has what is what brought me here. So to add a video from YouTube, you're going to click on the Add button up in the top right. And now you can paste a YouTube video URL. Now the place you can get your URL is if you go to your video on YouTube, you can hit share and here's your video link. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, go back into studio and here's where I'm going to paste my URL. And then I click add. Now here's my video. It showed up right away. And if I click on view, I see that there's no closed caption button here to the lower right of the video. There's a little CC button that should show up. If I click on captions right here under the video, it says no captions yet, and it doesn't give me the ability to request those captions like you'll do with a video that you upload directly into, into Canvas Studio. So what I have to do is I have to upload my captions. So in order to upload them, I have to go into YouTube and I have to download them first. So let's go back into YouTube. Now this is a video that I have created. So I have this little button that says edit video. So now I can click on subtitles in the left. And you'll see I have two options for my captions. I have these ones that I've worked on. You can tell because it says published by creator. So those are the ones that I worked on. And then there's the English automatic. Those are the captions that I have not edited. So right here, these are the ones that I worked on that I want to bring over. So I'll hit the three dots and now I can download my captions file as a VTT. I'm going to save it into my downloads folder. And now I'm ready to upload those into Studio. So I still have my Studio tab open. I'm here. I'm under that Captions tab. 
and I can upload them. Now my video language happens to be English, so I'm going to click on English. I'm going to go into my downloads folder, choose my captions file, hit open. And now it looks like I have my captions and I instantly have my closed captioning button back. So I've done everything I need to do. Now to test them, I'm going to hit play and I'm going to hit closed caption and English. And they're up here at the top. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching.